So this is the 45 kilowatt motor starter cubicle. Uh, inside we've got the mains that comes in on the right hand side, the bottom contactor and the motor terminals going out at the top. So all the electrical tests will be done at these terminals at the top of the contactor going out to the motor. So the first test is the phase balance test on the motor. We'll just check that the meter leads have been nulled and then we will test the first phase because it's three phase. All we can do is go between the U and the V connections going out to the motor and record what that reading is. The meter is pretty quick to respond, got the meter there, so we'll save that and then we'll move on to testing between the V and W phase. So no matter, there's the reading, we'll save that and then we'll move to the final one which is the U to the W phase. And again, good reading, save that and they look all to be balanced and good set of readings there. It's now set up for the first insulation test, which will be the dielectric absorption ratio test or the dial test. Turn it around to 500 volts. It's already saved from the last test on the dial setting, so we'll just hit the test button and we'll leave it uh, to record for the next one minute. And in the meantime, we'll move the uh, camera into a slightly better position so you can see the connections, one on the Top of the contactor there out to the winding, and then the other one on the chassis panel for the motor control centre. And just wait for the full one minute, it will record the reading at 30 seconds coming up just now, and then after that, we'll carry on and record the final reading at one minute, and it should give me the dial ratio. to the end of the 60 seconds now, 26 gig ohms, 28 gig ohms for the final reading at one minute, a ratio of 2.13 which is a good ratio for a motor, so we'll save that reading there and then using the function button there I can then work my way through all the readings that it took at the 30 second and the 60 second all the values and the voltage that the uh, test was completed at. So once we've done that, use the function button there and we'll set up for polarization index test and then we can start that one again, it will be at 500 volts. So that's the polarization index test started now. You can see it's got to 45 gig ohms already. I will take a reading every 60 seconds record that so I can then plot the insulation curve over the whole 10 minutes of the test. Let's see we've done 100 seconds and we're up to 50 gig ohms now. Hopefully the insulation should just keep going up and up until it reaches its final value. It's not much of a spectator sport so I'll turn the camera off now and then we'll reconvene towards the end of the test. So coming up towards the end of the test now, you can see the meter has actually reached the maximum reading of 100 gig ohms for the 500 volt rain. So at the end of the test there's no actual PI ratio value being recorded. You can scroll through readings to get the 1 minute values and then we can get on the 10 minute values but presumably because it's gone over that 100 gig ohm max reading for the range there is no PI ratio recorded. For the sake of the plot I'll actually record it as 100 gig ohms but then that yeah, test will finish we can pack up and make the panel safe ready for return to service. Mm -hmm.